Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. On this edition of Topics, we're going to be looking at profanity and what the Bible says about it. I'm going to go ahead and read the verses that talk about these issues, and then I'll go ahead and break everything down and explain what it all means. First, we're going to read from Colossians 3.8. But now you must also rid yourself of all things such as anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Ephesians 4.29 Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to the needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Matthew 12, 36 and 37 and these are direct words from Jesus. But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. James 3, 6-10 The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and itself sets on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed, and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Ephesians 5, verse 4. Nor should there be any obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. The last verse comes from James 1, verse 26. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. So here's the thing. Cursing and using negative words to hurt other people or to use them in vain for no reason, as Christians, we need to be set apart. We need to be different than the world. The world uses those words like it's nothing. But for us, we should know that those words have no place in our hearts. Now, I'll admit, I am not perfect. There's times where I get road rage and a word slips, but I know that by me saying that word, that it's wrong. And I try to tame my tongue and work on it daily to try to avoid using hurtful words. In anger, we might say something rude or negative to someone we love or to our enemies, but God says no. We should be using uplifting words to bring people up. As Christians, we should be doing the work of God and not being full of negativity. So I tell all of you, it's gonna take time, because a lot of you, if, if you've been using these words, it becomes a habit. What you need to do though, is rely on the Holy Spirit to cleanse you, so that you can start using words that are uplifting, and stop using curse words, negative words, or anything that is hurtful. So this is a challenge for Christians. Do better. And I say that to myself as well. Do better. Follow the Holy Spirit and do not listen to the devil. Because we are called to be a light to this world. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. Uh, we will see you tomorrow for Fact Friday.